Rescues in Japan worked into a third day on Tuesday, an increasingly desperate search for survivors of a powerful typhoon that killed nearly 70 people and caused widespread destruction. Government officials warned that more rain was expected throughout the day in several parts of the country affected by the typhoon. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in Parliament said there was no plan to slow rescue operations with around 110,000 police, Coast Guard firefighters and military troops involved and searches for the missing are continuing working around the clock. The Prime Minister's office said so far more than 3,000 people have been rescued in the wake of the disaster which affected 36 of the country's 47 prefectures. Hagibis slammed into Japan on Saturday night, unleashing fierce winds up to 216 kilometers per hour. But it was the unprecedented rain that caused the most damage, triggering landslide and causing some 200 rivers to burst their banks, inundating many neighborhoods in the storm-hit areas. It was reported that some areas received record amounts of rain, some up to 40 percent of their annual rain when the country was hit by the typhoon over the weekend. In Nagano Prefecture, some 34,000 households were still without power and 133,000 homes had no water by Tuesday morning. Tens of thousands of people spent Monday night in government shelters, with many unsure when they would be able to return home. The government has pledged to offer financial support to affected regions, however, it did not specify how much aid it would set aside. Reports also revealed extensive damages to houses, businesses and some of the country's expensive bullet trains. This latest weather calamity will certainly be a multi-billion dollar disaster for Japan, adding to its list of most costly typhoons since 2018, which included Typhoon Faxai that hit the country just last month, as well as last year's Typhoon Trami and Typhoon Jebi.